first of all we had to uh, develop two holders uh, to put the spindle on the robot. Uh, alternatively we can put the spindle on the, uh, on, on the floor. Tech's involvement in the Comet project is mainly the uh, end user experience. Uh, we've got some very practical applications and we've got some interested customers uh, already. The largest step was getting the cell set up with all the health and safety and spindle and getting everything working in the cell and then also getting trained on the new Dellcam software. Uh, we're at the stage now where everything's working and we're able to get on the cell every day just experimenting with it. Actually what we do in the project is to make, uh, to take the experience we have from the end user and to implement this on the robot uh, structure that we have on the project in order to have the effect that we want at the end. We are, as a robot integrator, we integrate a robot for the uh, Greek market. And uh, the Comet project, we uh, testing all the, the suggestion which we get from the partners, we are testing in our cell. It is Im impressive to see the, uh, the development of this, uh, this entire concept of plug and play so that you are working on different solutions that needs to be put together. And I think in general you have succeeded quite well in, in trying to get those pieces defined and trying to develop them. We are involved in uh, work package one uh, and two. So uh, first of all we have developed a cell, robotic cell to test the offline programming. And then also after the offline programming we will integrate everything. So the tracking system, the HDCM and everything to make a complete cell and to test all the results that we are expected from the Comet project. BTU is uh, the work package one leader, so um, we manage the um, kinematic and dynamic models. One thing I personally find very interesting is the HDCM because um, its um, functionality, uh, this is for me, a, a very interesting additional mechanism to add to a robot cell. So this is a great opportunity for us uh, to look in that field to learn a lot. In the Comet project, we are involved in tracking the robot, so determining through metrology where the robot is in order to correct the robot in its positions while machine. Well, in general, what is exciting about the Comet project are the different disciplines and the modular approach that we take in order to reach robotic machining to a next level, especially with respect to accuracy. So all the interaction between the different technologies that we use is very interesting. At the moment, I'm a work package leader for. Uh, we are focusing on the development and research of the HDCM, which is the High Dynamical Compensation Mechanism. Yeah, I think it's a very challenging project and at the moment we reached half time and um, yeah, we, de we developed for, for the HDCM a new design focusing on a parallel kinematic design um, that is capable uh, to achieve um, 20 microns or hopefully 20 microns um, to improve the accuracy for machining with robots. We're involved in the toolpath generation side of the Comet project. So that involves trying to make the toolpaths more sympathetic towards robots, trying to take the robot signature into account when we actually calculate the toolpath, improving the simulation tools that we can see exactly what's going on inside the robot when we actually simulate it. When I was here one year ago, I realized this was a very ambitious project. So in the back of my mind, I was a bit worried. But it's nice to see that even though there were some setbacks, that the project is really looking like it's going to realize its ambitious goals. So I'm very pleased as a project officer to, to see what's happening here. The, the benefits for the end users, will, uh, in my opinion, will be uh, that we have got a very simple system that can be integrated in, into uh, uh, process setups they've already got. In the aerospace industry, there's a large target to remove a human interface from a lot of the processes. Hopefully by implementing this it will remove errors and improve productivity within the factories in aerospace. Uh, the technology that is developing here can also be used on also other tasks and other applications. Not so robots are used, so it's more manpower is used, it's also more expensive, the current being used, the machines being used, massive machines that construct small, small things. And we want to minimize all this and to put this together in a one robot system.
Without the Comet project, the future of machining with industrial robots would be quite, uh, let's say, fragmented. Uh, each robot producer, each robot controller would have his own way of doing things. Now, with this project, you try to put together a common strategy for, for, for doing that, and I think this will move forward the, the process of using robots for machining. It's, uh, it's really exciting to see the robot making some particular operation that you are not used to see with a robot. And this is really exciting, I think. Well, I think that uh, machining with the Comet process will indeed make uh, industrial manufacturing cheaper to reduce the cost. Um, the setup of the robots is, is more flexible than how we know the manufacturing process nowadays. And um, yeah, the, the fact that uh, it will increase the accuracy of, of the machining while at the same time still maintaining flexibility is a big asset for adding to the factories of the future.